a naughty girl. I'm a naughty girl. I'm and you too, girl. miss. I'm a naughty girl. Get up. I'm a naughty girl. Will you get up? You will get up. I'm a naughty girl. I'm a naughty girl. I'm a naughty girl. I'm a naughty girl. Young man, how... How is it, young man, that I find you in the girls' dormitory? How is it? Tain't bad. How dare you? Edward Williams, I believe you've been drinking. I thought so. Drinking and sneaking into a girl's dormitory. The devil must have prompted you. Well, the devil might have prompted my drinking, but sneaking in here, that was my own idea. <laughs> Keep quiet. Please, please. I'm a naughty girl. Keep I'm a naughty girl. I am you a naughty girl. quiet, I hear you. Will you come with me to my office? Charges will be brought against you. Cover charges? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Now tell me the truth. Who put you in that dormitory? Nobody. I don't believe it. Honestly. I don't believe it. A student about to graduate who has worked his way through college by waiting on tables isn't jeopardizing his career willfully. I know. Oh, a... I see your sister had an operation. Oh. Look at me. Was there ever any insanity in your family? There was? We had a dog that went mad. A what? Oh. 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 I'm a naughty dog. I'm a naughty dog. No, I'm a naughty dog. No, no, I'm a naughty no, dog. I'm... No, 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 don't get excited. Now, now, before the uh, before the impulse that took you into this dormitory, had you ever noticed any other peculiarities about yourself? Yes, I, I have an affliction. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Exactly what is your affliction? Oh, Miss Oliver, I hate to talk about it. Oh, you can tell oh, me. Oh, really? You can tell me. Oh, it's the worst thing, but... Every time I hear a whistle, certain things happen. Oh, you mean a little whistle like this? <coughs> oh, Miss Oliver. Oh, Miss Oliver, what have I done? Oh, oh, Miss Oliver, what is, what is it? Miss Oliver, the, uh... Oh, please. Please forgive me. That's what I try to tell you. Every time I hear a whistle, I jump and hit, and oh, it's the worst thing. Forgive me. I can't help myself. You're very touchy, aren't you? Oh, Miss Oliver. Oh! <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, Dean, please, one moment, please. Oh. This is the young man who was found in the girls' dormitory. So, this is the guilty student. Yes, Dean. I deeply regret the occurrence in your dormitory this morning, and I trust that you'll express my feelings to all of your girls. Finding a boy in one of the girls' beds is not the best advertisement for a coeducational institution, is it? Hardly. No, I should say not. I've been dean of this institution for over 30 years, and I hardly know where the girls' dormitory is. You go right through this door and you turn to the right. Silence! Have you told Miss Oliver who is responsible for your predicament? He admits all the guilt himself. Indeed. Well, now, that's very commendable, young man. But perhaps you'll tell me... Well, Dean, you see, there's really nothing to tell. I just grew tired of sleeping with the fellows and thought I'd try the girls' dormitory. Oh! Uh, for a change. You know how it is. Oh, you wouldn't know. You didn't even know where the girls... Uh... uh, Ricardo. Your friend has confessed everything. Oh, but it isn't true. He didn't do it, Dean. He didn't carry me in while I was asleep. Well, I thought it was funny. It wasn't a bit funny. Oh, but it was really all my fault. Well, that's all right, Eddie. I can't let you take the blame for something I did. I thought it was a practical joke. And a very disgraceful one. Ricardo, in your case, it hurts me very much to do my duty. Yet, if I condone your offense, I set a bad example to the rest of the student body. Therefore, you are expelled. Oh, but you can't do in that. In your case, but he you didn't mean are it. entitled to my admiration. Innocent of all wrongdoing, you are willing to take the blame upon yourself to save a fellow student. You are indeed of noble character. <laughs> Get out! Oh. You two are expelled. She'll tell you how I am. I'm sorry about this, but the worst things happen when I hear a whistle. 